hello hoping everyone can hear me I'm just checking everything here is working okay so um, say hello in the comments if you can hear me and see me okay let's do a quick test I can see there's quite a few of you in here already so let's say hello to a few people so we have Louise hello and we have uh, Emma as well and we have Rosie we have Louise again yes yeah, so we were all in um, Jeanette's live feed a few hours ago so there's a few familiar faces from earlier and we have Deborah so she's just from outside Philadelphia and we have Peggy and uh, Angie Boodle and uh, yes you have, uh, I've said Emma before I think have I said Emma yes yes and Lynn hello Lynn are you still awake <laughs> I must say congratulations Lynn really pleased yesterday she won the craft stash prize so i was really super pleased that your name was called out for that one so can everyone hear me okay um, looks like it yes sounds good looks good 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 and oh, welcome rosie it's first time live so welcome and um, we're going to be making some uh, lovely things today so i have a brand new collection out and i'm really really super excited about that because um I'm, I'm a botanical sort of person anyway I have orchids I have succulents at home those are my favorite house plants so to have this in my collection is just just really exciting so now I can just make them out of paper and I don't have to worry about them dying but um, I've got pretty good at stopping them from dying anyway so I've kind of mastered the orchid thing um, I'm getting there with the succulents the real succulents but um, but yeah okay so let's do a quick uh, few more um, look overs at the comments and then I will jump straight in okay so do you have any questions um, about the new collection or anything else like that first um, before we kind of jump in but do let me know in the comments and um, if you're watching on the replay please say hi um, I do read all of those comments as well so this video will be going on replay afterwards so we have uh, Blanca I want to say Bianca, but no, it's Blanca, and uh, Rosie again, and Louise Holmes as well. Okay, so yesterday my new collection went live on Craft Dash website, so it's now all available to buy. So I haven't had any, t haven't had too many sneak peeks out at the moment. Um, just the video, and I have linked that down below. I, I, I did a video. Uh, what day was it? I think it was a Wednesday. It could have been Thursday. Yeah, I think it was Thursday. I made a video um, showing you all of the new um, die sets, and all of the things that you can make with it, and I'm sure there's plenty more things that you can make with those uh, dies. So that video is linked down below, and um, I do have a few more pictures here um, of some of the stuff. So let me quickly show you those. Okay, so which one is your favourite? I know Jeanette, she loved the geometric terrarium. Um, that will fit in a standard size big shot as well. So um, if you only had to have a standard size die cutting machine, this is the perfect project for that as well. So um, is there anything else I'm missing before we move on to the first demonstration? So for the only, it's gonna be a long demonstration. Well, not long, long, but a good good length so we're going to be making this today so we just need to make sure I have that in view as well I can't talk today I'm having trouble saying things saying the right thing so this is the orchid we're going to be making today and I'm going to be using my brand new papers for this as well this is made using ordinary cardstock and I've sponged it with some purple ink and we're going to be making this pot as well it's probably quite bright because I've got the, the light here but we're going to be making this geometric pot to go with that too and I've got some reindeer moss I have no idea why it's called reindeer moss in there so um, we're going to be doing that today that's from my new collection 
and I will show you everything over here once we go into the, uh, the top down. So let's move over to that. Okay, so the lighting's not that great at the moment because I had it all set up funny for the, um, the other webcam. So let's fix that right now. I have a special uh, lantern thing that clips on there and it just diffuses the whole light. So let's get the other one fired up. There we go. That's a little better. Do I need to go brighter? Okay, I think we are ready to jump in. So, these are the die sets we're going to be using today and I'll quickly show you the paper pad as well. So, if you have actually watched the um, the live launch, uh, not live, the launch from yesterday's video, please let me know what, what it's like in the comment, you know, what, what you think of it really. Um, so, Takita's saying she loves the new collection and Rose is saying they're beautiful. So please, oh, hi, hi Ellie. So please do pop in the comments um, what you think of this so far. So we're gonna be using some twigs today. You're gonna to be needing some twigs. I rescued this, these twigs from Mr. G just before he put them on the bonfire. So I ran out, saved me some twigs. I'm gonna pop those, those aside. Okay, so these are the sets we're going to be using today. So this is the brand new Orchid, Ultimate Orchid and Leaf die set. And we're going to be using the Pretty Pots die set as well. So I showed you loads of different variations yesterday um, during that video of all these different um, ways you can put this together. So you can make single, you can make tall ones by adding these um, rows together. And you also have this lovely intricate floral die here and a hinge here. So you can actually um, make that into a hinged um, a pot with a lid. So you can make it into a box basically and you can build it up and make it taller, make a vase out of it, you can make a little one. You can even make a square one here. I haven't finished this one. This is kind of like orchid in winter. Okay, so you can make this one with the square base on the bottom or you can go for the hexagon. Okay, so I've done all of my die cutting as well. So I'm ready to go for that one. So let's have a quick look at the pad. So I'm going to be using the orchid pearlescent paper. It's double sided. And you also get some lovely pattern uh, papers in here too. Now, one thing I did forget to mention, it's quite important actually. Um, this whole collection is going to be on her Chanda tomorrow starting at 6 p.m. and that's her Chanda.com. It's a craft shopping channel in the UK. And um, my shows, I get five shows for five shows and tomorrow and Monday morning up until the new one starts, it will be the one day special. So there will be um, a one day special here from some of these sets that have been grouped together so I can't tell you what they are yet so I can't let the cut out the bag for that one so let's have a quick look at these pads here so we're going to be using this orchid one here but we also have one for the peony as well I'll quickly show you the peonies again so you get two shades of pink for that one and I'm just going to flip back to that um, picture again in a moment because we have the Javera. This is also pearlescent as well. And that is tucked right at the back on that photo. And here we have the succulent pearlescent paper pad. So this is for making the succulents and I've had a really good bash at this one as well. So I have minimal samples with me because they've all been sent off to Hachanda and then they'll be going off to their brand new home um, at Practical Publishing, the Craft Stash HQ, that's up in Stockport. So I'm going to be making myself a whole new bunch of samples to have at home because I do like to show them off on the YouTube channel. But one thing, one I did hold back was this lovely orchid here. Okay, so another quick check on the comments and then we can dive straight in. Oh good, I'm glad Lynn, you've got that working now. So if I go quiet, I'm reading the comments. 
Ah, so Ellie's saying it reminds her of um, an orchid plant made in sugar. Now that seems really interesting, actually. I, I wouldn't mind to kind of just, now you wouldn't want to eat it. W is it. Would it be edible, I guess? It's made in sugar, like the sugar sort of um, flowers that you can get. Oh, so maybe some people are having problems with the uh, YouTube at the moment. So Louise is saying that it's not working on an iPad apart from comments, but working on TV. Okay. Oh, I wonder what's going on. Um, on my end, everything seems fine. Everything seems fine on my my side. So. Okay. So, I'm happy to kind of move on now and to um to get started so I have already got everything cut out already but I will go through the die set so this one is the orchid die set you get five dice and it does all of the lines here all the detailing and another feature are the envelopes just love how this looks here it's very very functional Let's slide these out so we have two leaves and then we have the flower section comes in um, a set of three here and we're going to do some um, whatchamacallit flower not, not pressing but flower shaping okay and we're going to start off actually with the pretty pots because we need to have a pot to put it in so um, you're going to need to cut yourself out four of these and there are two hexagons, so you need to cut out one of the larger hexagons. And I forgot to mention here as well, we have some lovely panels. So this is the, the intricate die that's going to cut out the lovely detailing in the lid if you wanted to use it as a lid. And here we have a matching die that is going to cut out the details in each one so you'll have to run it through each triangle okay so I have everything already cut out so put that aside make sure I don't lose that because I know I probably will do if I don't put a die away I know it's gonna get lost if I kind of let it go out of sight Okay, so I've got everything already cut out and these are the papers I've used. I have used the Orchid pad, but again, feel free to experiment with different mediums, uh, different cardstocks and inking techniques. So I'm just going to grab my bone folder. Okay, so Lynn, I, I do have, was was the page you were talking about, the welcome page, I kind of go live a couple of minutes beforehand and then I, um, and then I kind of take that poster down and then it's just a normal camera. So I'm going to do my best every week to have the two cameras going. So it does all of the score lines for you, so I'm just pressing these down. And it's always good to just use a bone folder and I'm using a linen cardstock, it may be really hard to see. Um, it's 300 GSM, so nice and sturdy. I have tried this with a Creative Expressions Foundations card and that works really well as well. In fact, I think this is the Creative Expressions cardstock for this one. So we're going to be making, this one's made from ordinary cardstock, I said, as I said earlier. This one here is using the pearlescence. I love, I love like these sorts of colours. Hopefully you can see that there's a purple shine in that, in the blue. This is like my ultimate favourite um colour even though it's like a two-tone I just love stuff like that I remember in the 90s they released a nail varnish that was just like that water bottle oh I went mad for that I wish I still had it I 
Okay, so let's carry on folding all of these. Perhaps maybe I should have done this in my prep. So what I do is I, I prep whilst I watch Jeanette's live show every Saturday. So I am a little bit quiet in the comments. If you're wondering why, that's why. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, Jeanette Lane, um, she has a lovely YouTube channel doing journaling and uh, junk journals and um, pocket pages. She is the inventor of pocket letters. If you love pocket letters, she is your lady. And when she has her show at half past four, I think it is, I just do all of my my die cutting and prep work for my show later on. It's just a, a nice little routine to have. Right, last one. Let's see if I can read some of the comments while I do this. Ah, thank you, Lynn. My, my bestie, she bought it for me for my... Oh, no, was it my birthday or Christmas? I don't know. My birthday's two weeks after Christmas. So sometimes when I get gifts and that, they kind of merge in my memory of when I got them especially when it's you know a few months later ah Louise is now you know yes that's why I'm quiet in Jeanette's comments sometimes I try and write every now and then so I'm still here I'm still here but yeah I can't uh, yeah, work and type and I try not to multitask too much it's not worth the hassle really okay so I'm gonna grab my scissors now okay so we're gonna do some trimming Right, so here we have um, this section here. So we need to do some trimming to get this to work because we have six sides, uh, yeah, six sides on the hexagon. So we have four tabs on this. So this was designed to go on the square, just like that. So you stick the square on the bottom, but we can combine these together to make a larger one so that we can add it onto the thing, but we need to lose a few triangles. So you need to cut off, or you need to keep four. So one, two, three, four, and then you can cut off the rest, but make sure that you're leaving on the side with the side tab here on the side. So I'm gonna trim that off. And you can always keep this as well. You can always create new tabs. So I'm keeping all of these aside so you can make new tabs and save you cutting out some more. So let's do the same on this one. One, two, three, four. And don't worry if you get carried away or cut it wrong. Just die cut yourself out a new one. We all make mistakes. One, two, three, four. such a windy day today really really windy it actually blew out um, on our greenhouse outside two of the window panes and they smashed so I heard this massive racket I was trying to nap at the time and I heard all this glass breaking in the garden I was like, oh no my greenhouse okay I think I've got carried away I should have just cut two of these not four right let's start again I'm going to keep two and then we're going to die cut some out. So, as I said, we make mistakes. And then I will go through finally what you're going to be needing. So, as this will fit through a small big shot, I'm just going to cut my cardstock in half. And yes, I always get carried away. Okay, so this is really quick and easy to do, actually. You can all laugh at me in the comments, I don't mind. Right, so anyway, back to the greenhouse. I'm going to have to, I think I'm gonna get some plastic panels this time. 
just to replace those but I'll wait till the windy weather's finished before I order anything just to make sure nothing else happens okay so let's get those folded right we don't cut those ones these two you keep whole these two you trim down don't get carried away Ah, so yeah, Lynn's saying, do you not have a, a greenhouse, Lynn? I always imagined you having a greenhouse because you talk about your garden a lot and the flowers and things. I, I presumed you'd have a greenhouse. Ah, oh, Louise saying that she only sees me at the beginning and the end of the show. I did appear a few times in the middle today so I did make a bit more of an effort today but yes that's why when I'm working I go real quiet <laughs> yeah, it's the same for the last few weeks socially I've not really been around on Facebook or anything like that um, probably because I'm just grafting away here getting ready for the launch so that's what it's like with every launch it's like all hands on deck get those samples made so yeah the die sets were a bit late getting to me because of the um the shipping from the pandemic that's going on so everything's ready it's all done the hardest bits of the work are done just need to sit back and relax for a little bit oh and also on her chanda tomorrow they're going to try and um broadcast me live from here just to chat with the presenter that's on there too so if you really want to tune in tune in I will hopefully be there um, live chatting with the presenter and I've also sent in my video tutorials as well so I'm gonna start with this long piece here I'm just gonna add uh, glue this is cosmic shimmer and I believe it's back it's back in stock after all of those weeks being out of stock it is now back happy about that so what we're going to do is just line this up, make sure this line here is in that orientation. So it's not like that, it's not staggered, it's it's streamlined, I guess this would be a good word to call it. Just to push that up and turn that over. Okay, so much for my next live video next Saturday, what shall we make? haven't even finished this show and I'm planning next week's that's how my mind works okay so we have this long panel here now but we only have the four tabs on the bottom so we just need to add these two on there just like that and then we'll glue those together too this um, die set comes together super fast uh, once you've kind of worked out where you need to cut and what you're making so if you want to go even taller than this you know just do exactly what we're doing here and just build it up so I'm going to add glue just to these sections and if you saw the big terrarium which I really wish I have here I had here to show you it's gone to Hachanda um, I might have to make another one that one took a bit of die cutting to do um, I wish I had that one here to show you because it is giant it's like this wide it's made from these frames here you glue them together and it's it's lovely it's a lovely little greenhouse I had a lot of fun designing that one I got my ideas from if you see those um dollar store makes out of the picture frames that's kind of where I got that idea from and it just grew and grew and add all these you know special ridge poles to fill in the gaps and just make it look a little bit nicer so that's kind of where that idea was born from okay so we should have this long panel here and six six tabs across the bottom for the hexagon right we are getting there now we should really wait for this glue to dry i'm so impatient sometimes okay i'm gonna add my glue to these side tabs here Ah, 
Ah, so Lynn's saying next week the terrarium. Go for, go for the biggest project. If it's still in stock, I will consider it. Um, I might even do a smaller, a smaller version of the terrarium because I have got a tutorial made for the full, the big one, for the big one. So I'm thinking maybe I should do some tutorials on how to make some different versions of it, just a different combination of the window panes. And if Jeanette was watching, she'd probably be saying, do the geometric terrarium. <laughs> okay, so that is really coming together now. So we're going to be making an orchid here to go into a bigger pot. Okay, so for this section, I've got a moth in here. It's inside my lantern lampshade. It's, it tap, tap, it's tapping. I wondered what that noise was. Just realised what it was. It's a moth. Is there anyone afraid of moths here? I'm okay, so if it goes near me I won't run away screaming, but that would be funny actually if that happened live and I was scared of moths. I can see, I can see the funny side to that happening. So I'm just adding glue now to all of these tabs here. There we go. And then let's pop the hexagon on at the top. Whoops, don't don't squeeze it. Oh, I bent it out of shape. That's right, we'll squeeze it back the other way. There we go, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's on the bottom. And I'm just gonna take bone folder here and then push everything down. But obviously take your time in making sure everything's glued down properly. And uh, there was one little flap here, there we go. And don't be impatient like me, just carry on. There you go, press that down. That is all ready to go. So I'm going to leave that aside now just to dry fully. And uh, if my screen's gone too bright, apologies. Bring something back in just to help balance that out a little bit. Okay, so now we're ready to start on the orchid. So I'm just going to grab just a piece of fun foam here my very well used and loved piece of fun foam and a twig so I want you guys to help me here to choose a twig which twig shall I use this is twig one with the extra arm this is twig two well, maybe we'll do twig one and twig two one for one arm two for two arms so let me know in the comments twig one or twig two still a bit bright isn't it let's move this over a bit this are probably just reflecting stuff stuff I mean it's reflecting the light <laughs> so Lynn's saying she likes moths she likes moths Helen and Emma so Emma, Emma would run away screaming Louise hates anything that flies and buzzes oh do you get that when it it, it buzzes past your ear does it make your back go funny? It makes me shiver sometimes. Oh yes, Emma's yeah, Emma's terrified of moths definitely. So yeah, you'd be a screamer, I think. Just reading some of these comments. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in my glue gun here just to keep that off the side for a little while I want to be ready with that last week I forgot to get that ready and I had to plug it in so okay everyone's saying twig too so I might have to cut some more flowers right let's move things away right let's get started so um just going to grab my flower shaper this one is by tonic but i know sizzix do them and i think this one's by tonic sizzix do it and i think crafters companion also do one so i'm going to go for i like to use the bigger one um this one here this is one these from craft stash i think this one is available individually card making magic and do do if you don't have anything like that you can use anything with a round end just like so that's quite a round end nothing pointy uh, this this wouldn't work if you had a 
a lid there, a pen lid, that that wouldn't work, but something round just like so. And I remember uh, Lynn earlier, she said she could probably use the end of that, I think that was what, was that what you shown Lynn? She lost hers, so. Okay, so let's go through what we're going to be doing first. So to make one flower, you need those three parts and I've got some extras here. I've got enough for three flowers. So all we do is roll it around like that, just to curve those in and then to get a proper curve, go backwards and forwards and that will curl it up nicely. Okay, do the same on this one. So I do all of your flowers at the same time as well. This one is quite delicate so don't press too hard but just go backwards and forwards like that and that will give you a nice curve there. Right so that's one flower ready, see that did not take uh, too long at all. So roll them around again. try and keep these flowers in their groups and then if you want to have a tighter flower you can actually once you've done this stage just um, roll it up yourself just to help it just like that there we go that's that one Okay, so if I do miss any comments, I do read them afterwards and go through them. There's always something or someone that I've missed saying hi, and I'll be like, ah, oh, I didn't say hi to that person. Okay, so you've all chosen stick two. Oh, Louise saying, oh, sorry, Helen, over to you for that. I'm going to have to read the comments to know what I'm, what I've been signed up for here. Oh, I will have to have a good read. There's quite a few comments there, and when I'm filming, my brain is just crazy. Concentration levels are halved, I believe. Okay. Let's put the first flower together. So there's different different ways. I think in my video tutorial I said do it um, smiling upwards, but I'm thinking it looks better smiling downwards. Right, so on this, it might be easier if I show you on here, we have, not the glue over, we have a larger petal on the three petaled flower. So the larger one goes at the top. So it's harder to find once they're curled up, but this is the larger one here. So let's pop that there. And then this one here is kind of like, it reminds me of a moustache. So that one there goes there, just like that. So let's pop the glue on. And then this section here, it just we glue it on by that section. I keep saying this section here, that section there. It'll all work together. And if it gets a bit fiddly, you can use some tweezers as well. Okay, so that's still looking a bit flat. So we can go in and do some more shaping after the glue has dried properly. Because this is pearlescent paper, it is going to take that little bit longer to dry. So let's do the same with this one. Let's find the bigger one. The bigger one goes at the top. I'm going to add glue to this side this time. Okay, 
Whoops. Let's try and do this left handed. I'm right handed. Left handed. There we go. I would be lost if I broke anything on my right arm or right hand. I'd have to uh, do everything with my left. Okay, so we can do this the opposite way this time. If you find it's a bit of a struggle to get the centre in first or at last, you can put it in first instead. Can everyone still see and view okay? So yeah, um, if you do have any craft stash order issues, um, I'm hoping that you've got in touch with craft stash just to see what's going on. I mean, a lot of them are now working remotely from home. Um, obviously the warehouse staff aren't, but Okay, so I now have my three flowers, so I'm going to uh, pop this away and then I'm going to die cut the leaves. So I really I should have done that when I had everything out. So let's grab the leaves. Okay, so we don't have to do um, the botanicals next week. Um, we've, we've got um, Craft World Live on Friday, that will be this collection as well so please do join in then because there will be prizes so always watch for the prizes and enter and comment in because you never know you might just win. Okay so let's grab the paper I chose, I've got everything ready in here. There we go, I'll cut that down to six inches. I'm just gonna pop the leaves in. I'm gonna cut these out twice. quite a lot of um, craft shopping the last couple of weeks so I've got a craft haul to film as well so you can see all of my new things and uh, a couple of weeks ago I also asked if you wanted to see inside my completed mini album box so I haven't forgotten that because I got a lot of comments saying that they'd like to see my mini album collection of um, albums I've made in the past so what I'll do is I'll grab that box out and we can go through that and most of them will have will will have a tutorial on how to make them as well so um, if you like any of those albums then you can go ahead and make some okay so I have the normal side here with the um, the line in the scored line just for the, the detail so we're going to be doing these upside down so turn them all over so they're on the wrong side and then we are going to take our flower shaping tool and we are going to bend them just like this so go backwards and forwards you can go in little circles as well but to get them to curl up you want it to um, you want to go backwards and forwards like that and as you can see that's how the orchid leaves are formed and how they grow I'm going to move over to my bigger one. I'm 
Okay, let's just quickly do these again. The first ones, I did these with the smaller balls. That's better. Okay, I'll do this one too. Right, so I've had my glue gun waiting and heating up now and I need to grab something wherever I put it. There we go. I have a polystyrene block there. Um, I do have an oasis, but I don't really want to use it when I can get away with using a bit of polystyrene. So I'm just going to cut this up and if squeaking um, gets to you, you might want to turn your sound down until I've finished this. Just getting all those little ones, a few of them escaped. Okay, so a craft knife will be okay for that. Okay, and that is our polystyrene block. So this one was made with the polystyrene block in the bottom and I have one here ready to go like that. So let's grab the vase we just made, the vase or the jar, peony, peony pot. So many different ways to do that, let's say it. Okay, so let's double check how far, we don't need to push that in too far. So I'm just gonna create a little hole to pop that in just like that make sure I haven't pushed it in too far yep we're good so I'm just going to add some glue inside there and then poke that in make sure it's straight okay so we're ready now to get this popped in the bottom so add some more glue here again if you have oasis and you can cut that down so I'm going to put that in the center okay so that is coming together very nicely now I think I just need to introduce some other bits and bobs because it's getting quite bright again Okay, so now we're ready to pop on some of our flowers. So if you remember, um, back in March I went to the Tutankhamun um, exhibition and I came home with a giant orchid. It was almost as big as me. Okay, so that has now finished flowering. So I've, I just need to snip the flower stem right at the base while it goes a little bit dormant there we go so i've just shaped those up do the same on the others and it was so tall it wouldn't fit on my kitchen windowsill which is where i have all of my orchids so after those flower stems have been trimmed off it's going to be the perfect size for fitting on my windowsill so i'm glad about that but i'm just wondering when it starts to flower again um, you know, will I get the massive big spires again, the big the big spikes, I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that one. I did have a, an orchid that I almost lost last year, it was literally on its last legs. I had to chop off all, most of the roots because they were brown and rotten. Um, it lost a lot of its leaves. It's because I just neglected it for about a year, over a year I neglected it, but it, it still kind of survived. And so I repotted it into into special uh, orchid um, potting mix. And a few weeks later, it really perked up. And then about two months after that, it, it grew a flower spire, a flower spike. So I was really happy. I'd managed to save that okay so we're going to add our flowers on I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this maybe I should bring in my second camera let's let's have a play let's have a play see if 
you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Can you kind of see that? What I'm doing here, let's move this out of the way. Oh, it's quite handy having a second camera. I think I quite like this. Oh, you get my hand in the way though. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have one here on the end. They do sort of point downward sometimes as well. So let's grab the glue gun. Oh, I've got, I've got wires galore here now. Let's, let's try and sort this out. Sorry guys, if you get motion sickness from that, probably won't, but apologies. Okay, so let's get some glue on this one here. Going to pop that right on the end there because I am going to have a good side. There we go, so there's our first one. Might just point that down a little bit more. It's, there we go. And I guess I'll have another one here because they do kind of follow the curve as they go round. So if you're ever trying to copy something in nature, just look at the real deal, photograph, Google will have plenty, and then you can just, just mimic what it does in nature. So that's coming together very nicely now. And then we'll stick the top one up there. And again, once it's all glued in, you can just reshape these. They kind of get flattened a bit once um, you start pressing them in to glue them down. But you can just you could just reshape these, and you can curl these up as well because you also get um, some in bud, especially on the top section here. It grows. It grows as um, as the spike. I think it's called a spike anyway. As it grows up new flowers grow on the end and the older ones are towards the bottom and as it dies the first flowers fall off first while it's still growing some of the new flowers anyway so that is that so far I'm going to keep the glue gun out so now I'm going to do the top leaves first so the small leaves are the top leaves so find which angle you want to be looking at this at sometimes or well most of the time the spires they kind of grow between the leaves like that so I think I might just try and mimic that so I'm gonna add the leaf here and they always grow, I'm sure there's a name for it, but they always grow completely opposite each other in pairs like that. And then these ones here, they go directly underneath. Ouch, that was hot. Hoping you can still see. It, it may just go in and out of focus there. Just read some of the comments here. Some people are, are talking about the real comments. The important thing is with orchids is they get they get good daylight but not direct sun so they need the brightness the roots especially they need to photosynthesize so that's why they come in the clear pots okay so that's coming together super nice now so here it is
that's going to look really nice at that angle there on display okay so now we're ready for the last stages um, I have here a box of um, reindeer moss no I, if anyone knows why it's called reindeer moss let me know and you could probably get this from eBay as well I got mine from a craft shop but um, they, they will sell this on eBay as well I've got a whole load of dead stuff at the bottom I don't really want that in there let's take all this off and there are other things that you can use as well I have some more examples I have some ivory moss there that one I found I found is a, a bit more twiggy that is a word isn't it twiggy and I have got another one somewhere I'm just gonna look try and look for it I have a few things piled up behind me um, boop, boop, boop. I don't think I'm gonna find it now Oh, I've got grapes up here. I was eating those earlier. I forgot to put them back in the fridge. Okay, I've put it somewhere. And I don't know where. Okay, never mind. But this comes in a green as well. Okay, so let's pop this in. I'm going to order myself, I think from eBay, another bag of this. Because this stuff, I know I really like this stuff. gonna have to uh, make or not make but tidy up all this stuff's coming off it okay I'm probably gonna have better luck gluing this to the side there or you can stuff a whole load of brown paper down there first do I have some brown paper oh I do I do I have some brown paper here This is just going to add a bit of support for putting the um, moss onto. Which again means I won't need to use as much. Yep, you can use shredded paper as well. Get really creative in all the things that you can have that you do have available to you. And I'm just going to glue this in there. It's nice when bits come out over the edge as well. Ouch, I just put my finger in the glue. Oh, that's hot. Take that off because it's going to stick me to the project. Okay, so I'm going to have bits and bobs here just coming off the edge. Okay, let's have a quick tidy. I should have brought my dustpan and brush up here, really. Right, so I've got this much left now, not much. Okay, let's have a tidy. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put in, an, put in another order for some more moss because I'm going to make a whole bunch of these and there is um, a piece of paper that I haven't used yet from the paper pack. And that is the lighter shade of pink, so it's this pink here. So it's this pink here so the pink I've used was that one but I want to try it using the lighter one as well and there's so many different effects sponging effects that you can do um, if you were to make it out of the plain cardstock so I'm hoping maybe you might be able to see that one will it focus no it's focusing on my hand 
too close. So anyway, those are different things that you can do to experiment with the orchid. So I really like this one. This one's going to look really nice on um, on my shelf as well. So right, so let's pop this camera back, and then I'm going to read through some of your comments. So yeah, this is my craft room. It's a little bit of a mess now. This is actually my bedroom as well. So let's get these lamps turned off. Let's get these lamps turned off. Just turn that one down because it's still a bit it's a bit dark now because um the sun's gone down that's not right there we go was it down a bit more can't get it i've, ch I've completely changed the angle now. i think that's okay i think that's okay now that's still a bit bright let's turn that off completely how is that is that all right Right, okay, I hope so. Let's go back to the comments. There are going to be so many comments that I've missed. I know there was a few chit chats about the craft stash order, so I hope that your orders do get sorted out and contact craft stash directly. Um, and hopefully, that can get resolved for you. And then there's also some chit chats about real orchids, so there's loads of information online, and there's also lovely YouTube channels as well on um, orchid tips and succulents as well I mean, if you have stretched um, sorry Lynn she went dizzy um, so if you have stretched succulents uh, where they, they grow tall and leggy there are different things that you can do to fix that as well um, too so I am going to have to read through all of your comments on that too okay so uh, is it Garnet? Uh, yeah, Garnet with it. She's asked where I can get them. They're um, sold at, at Craft Stash um, and they were released yesterday, so there's still plenty of stocks left. Um, so it, there's a link down below that will take you to my entire um, Simply Made Crafts collection, and the newest stuff is always at the top, so you'll be able to find it there. Um, and also, I'll be on. I, I I'll be on Hachanda from here tomorrow if that makes sense so if you're tuning to hachanda.com at 6 p.m i'll be releasing a new one day special that will be for 24 hours or until the stocks last and that's going to be so much fun because i've made so many video tutorials for those shows as well so there's a, a pretty much a tutorial for every single die set that was released this time and that's something that i aim to do anyway and um it took me about two hours to film the terrarium and it had to be 10 minute videos so the the big terrarium that's going to be a two-part video tutorial that they're going to be showing tomorrow so make sure that you tune in and miss that you don't miss that at all so and then again next friday let's get the date for next friday friday the 29th um it's going to be the Craft World Live, which was previously Craft Stash Live on Facebook. That's all moved over now to Craft World. Um, and the first show was last week, and I, or yesterday, and I think that went really well. And that was with Olga's new collection from Paper Discovery. So I think that worked out pretty well. And the comments do work a little bit differently, but it all ran quite smoothly without any hiccups, which was um, a big accomplishment, really, especially when you spend a lot of time worrying about whether it's going to work or not and it's something that was brand new so it was a really big step for them to move everything that was well established over on YouTube and uh, Facebook to actually move that over to Craftworld and that's going to be its new home and I think it's going to be um, really nice there as well it felt it did it did feel different to be over there and it felt new and it felt exciting so um that's where i'm going to be hanging out a lot more i do have my own pages over there too and i have exclusive um video tutorials on there especially with the master class that i do once a month so um the last one i did i think it was a mini album so that's going to be on there and i am currently making my next master class for june so um pop over to craftworld.com it's free to sign up and every friday that is where 
the new face the, the, the new craft world live is going to be and there's going to be demonstrations and giveaways so on friday next week there's going to be simply made crafts there's going to be more video tutorials from me and there's going to be some giveaways as well so make sure you take part in those and if you are on facebook go to the craft stash facebook page because they run a competition on there as well that's related to next week's show so you could be one of the winners from the facebook drawings as well so make sure you know that um that you do that and i have two of my followers now that have actually won um one of those competition competitions and one of those was lynn so well done lynn i was just so excited when they called your name out and said like, i know lynn so yes uh, I think she won a, um, a voucher to spend at Craft Stash. So, you know, there's loads of different prizes that they're giving away. So, um, so Debbie's saying she's lost signal. Oh, I better check to see how that's going. It looks like I'm still okay. Um, I'm not too sure if it's me or you. But I'm going to keep going for a little while. It's We've been running for just over an hour now. So this is the point where my family starts to get a bit... Oh, no, I've been quiet for a bit too long. It's time for... Me to make some noise today so um yeah they, they are very patient when i have to film and uh when i have to do my lives i say i have to do but it's a big part of what i do so um they kind of need to let me do it otherwise i can't really do my job properly so i'm used to um my husband being at work i'm used to the kids going to school you know i have a good five or six hours of quiet time in the house where um I can just get on with all the videoing and editing that um, I need to do. So um, I'm reading some of your comments now about Craft World. So what time on Hachanda? 6 p.m. That's BST. So we're in British summer time now. So we're uh, one hour. So it's GMT plus one or UTC plus one. Um, and that will be, you can watch online if you're in other countries. I know Hachanda don't broadcast all all of the, the tv channels um in the uk but you can you can watch 24 7 on um their website as well i think they do international deliver i think they do so um yeah so that's my accent craft well like craft world <laughs> world so yeah i'm from hertfordshire we kind of say w world a bit like that you know so um i know I think it's a southeast thing as well because I've noticed Lou Collins. She says a few words like I do, whereas other people from other parts of the country they don't. They say it differently. But when she says it, I instantly recognise it as if you know it's from my area. Even though she's, um, I think it's Essex. Uh, uh, she's from she's from Ipswich, so um, I'm not sure if that's Essex or not. Anyway, I probably wasn't paying attention in geography when they were teaching me that. So anyways, moving on. But yes, um, world, it's W-O-R-L-D. So a lot of people have, have said it's Craft World. So that's craftworld.com and there's um, all of the, the craft stash experts on there. Um, and there's inspiration, you can share your own. And there's feeds as well where you can uh, join up to things. And when you start to join people and make friends with people, the things they share come on your newsfeed. It's a little bit like Facebook as well, in the way that it works that way. So I really encourage you to go over there and to share all your things and get lots of likes, you know. And oh, there's one other thing actually. Um, Craft Stash are looking for a design team member. So um, that has been extended. So pop along to uh, Craft World. I think it's advertised on craftworld.com but it's definitely on craftstash.co.uk um, if you pop along to their blog their blog section is right down at the bottom there's some links that there you can pop onto there and you can see um, what you need to do to be on the design team so what does a design team mean it means that you'll be sent um, dies like mine these ones here um, to make samples for and you send them off to craft stash or to Hachanda and it's what we use for um, extra samples because there was a point where we were all doing our own samples um, and it was taking a lot of work so I was doing all of mine for all of the shows and for the launches so it's just really handy to have that extra design team per people to make their versions of things because when it's just one person making something then um, it's going to 
look a bit same samey samey after a while so um, when you have other people helping and putting their input and making their own versions you get so such a variation of different makes as well so I'm rambling on now so I think um, I think it ends on Wednesday so pop along to the craft Sashes blog all the information is there on my Facebook page I did share a link for that as well so if you pop along to my Facebook page Helen Griffin UK um, there will be a link somewhere in that recent in my recent feeds as well for that so I think I've mentioned everything so don't forget to take part in all the Facebook I keep saying Facebook it used to be Facebook live craft world live take part in all of those competitions and there will be some information on their Facebook page as well which is craft uh, Facebook page as well. we're all over the place we're all over the place we're taking over I think that's what we're doing we're taking over so um right so I have a few things to do now so I need to have my dinner uh, I need to make sure that I'm up tomorrow because I've got some garden furniture arriving from Ikea that I ordered a couple of weeks ago so I need to be up and ready for that um, next Friday Mr G is having some more paving slabs delivered because he put the little patio down in the back garden and he decided it was not big enough so he's ordered twice as many um, paving slabs this time just to make it the full length of the garden but well, widthways not backwards but widthways from one side of the house to the other so it's the whole thing so he's going to be doing that next weekend so he has to be up ready for a curbside delivery so I said I wouldn't be helping again this time unless he gets a wheelbarrow which he hasn't got a wheelbarrow so he's gonna have to carry all those 32 of them across the grass so I'm going to be going off now, I'm going to uh, make myself some dinner, family's already been fed so it's just me that I need to worry about now which is quite nice actually, I've only got myself to worry about so um, I hope you all have a lovely week, uh, after this I'm going to look through all of these um, comments as well because um, I know there's loads I've missed and if you're again watching on the replay just uh, put your comments in or any questions and things like that and I will happily answer them so don't forget all the links for everything I've used today and everything from the new collection will be down below and uh, yeah I will see you tomorrow on Hachanda so bye for now